Dura Black here. As I continue to do some work here in the Middle East, which is a long ways from Canada, 26 hours by multiple flights, instantly. Uh, I'm continuing walking and doing my roughly 4K, 4-kilometer four hike uh, each night after returning from teaching a, a leadership program. And the terrain is incredibly mountainous, actually. Really undulating, varying. Nothing like I had initially thought. And so I wanted to just ask you, maybe, you know, cause some reflection on your part. How many times did you enter into a situation with a preconceived idea and it turned out to be nothing like you had thought? And yet you were locked into that predetermined outcome, that predetermined condition. Maybe it's a situation where you have a challenge with an employee, a, a team member. You're thinking, you know what? Here's the problem. They're lazy. They're entitled. Oh, the list goes on and on. I see this a lot with ageism around millennials. And the flip side of that is ageism towards older uh, generations in terms of work. So I would encourage you to view situations with curiosity rather than judgment. Curiosity first. View it with interest and be of the mind that, that's interesting. I wonder what is driving that behavior. And further to that, I would encourage you to view a situation, particularly when you're handling uh, an HR uh, issue, a per performance issue, something maybe somebody's not you know, uh, meeting expectations. Really look at it from the perspective that nobody actually goes into a situation thinking they're going to do a bad job. Very few people start that way, that's for sure. They don't wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, man, today I am going to screw this up as much as I possibly can. I'm going to miscommunicate. I'm going to be obtuse. I'm going to be obnoxious. I'm going to be intimidating. I'm going to be unproductive, all of those other things. Now, yes, they may get there eventually through what I would deem as maybe poor leadership, but when you enter a situation, be curious about it and have an open mind and start with the benefit of the doubt for that particular team member. And if you can start there, you'll start to see that your mind opens up dramatically with regard to the possibilities of outcomes from a given situation. If you're not locked into a situation, you are far more reasonable, you're far more apt to listen and actively listen to somebody versus if you are going in with a preconceived notion, like I did when I came here to the Middle East. I thought it was all sand dunes, honest to goodness. And it's not. It is not. If you look in the background here, this particular part of where I am, there is no sand dune to be found. Nothing but undulating mountains, nothing like mountains back in Canada, for example. That's a little mini flex there, but certainly way more uh, varied in terms of topography and terrain than I thought. So I just once again found myself reminded of how myopic my view can be and how locked into a predetermined preconceived notion of a geography and translating that into the leadership realm particularly as a leader of leaders, there are a lot of things that come down the pipe at any given day. And so you want to always, always, always keep an open mind with regard to the outcomes, with regard to the causes of that. View situations with interest. There's actually no such thing as good or bad news. It's simply data. It is simply information. Now, the meaning we attach to it, that's something different. But ultimately, view everything with great interest. I know when I am on a large-scale emergency, for example, which is part of my background, and we can have situations that are pretty catastrophic by nature. By a lot of uh, measurements are really, really bad. Now, that said, we don't have time to judge it and say, man, that really sucks. It just simply is. And so many times, and, and this is through a learned behavior, a conditioned response, I'll look at something, 
something and, and review something that, that has happened or something that somebody's told me. And I will literally say, that's interesting. And in fact, I literally do this. This is the subconscious response after so long. I'll literally go, that's interesting. I'll pause. I don't judge. It's neither good nor bad. It's something I have to deal with or the team has to deal with. So all of those, all of this has to do with really around that, that notion of just view life, view work, view situations, view interactions with curiosity, have an open mind, say to yourself, well, that's interesting. And remember that ultimately nobody wakes up in the morning to do a shitty job, including you. So give them the grace that they need. Give them the grace, your teammates and those that work with you and for you. Give them the grace that you would like to have afforded to you. Maybe you made a mistake. That's okay. Nobody died. Nobody died. And coming from somebody who makes those types of decisions literally in my other background with emergency management and crisis leadership. Man, that's, uh, there are times when your decisions are dealing with life and death. When you're dealing with a corporation, ultimately speaking, very little can be undone. Maybe you had a bad interaction with somebody. Maybe your project is lagging behind. Maybe you had a bad outcome of a one-on-one, whatever it is. Yeah, it could be serious at the time, but just think about it from the perspective of, you know what? That's interesting. Now move on. Let's not judge. Let's not dwell. Let's not get a sense of anxiety over something. It's really about the ability to adapt. And one of the ways you adapt is not by getting wrapped around the axle around an outcome or a particular situation. So I hope that that helps view situations with curiosity, view them with interest, look at people as being good and ultimately not trying to be bad and make mistakes, just like you. How about a little empathy? And when something happens, somebody approaches you with quote unquote bad news, what they deem to be bad news, instead of reacting or overreacting and placing some sort of meaning to it, just take a deep breath and pause and say, hmm, that's interesting. All right. What are we going to do about that? And I promise you, I promise you from my perspective, my experience, I've experienced it myself. I've seen it dozens of times in large scale emergencies and disasters. I've seen it hundreds of times with my clients. You will see the outcome being much more favorable for all involved. If you just view something with curiosity, view it with interest, don't attach any kind of meaning to it and just deal with it. Thank you.